what it is and what it ain't, y'all. Snapback Streets, back at y'all. <laughs> What it, what it do, y'all? Back at y'all with a double video. Yeah, double video in one day. Ain't that some craziness? Well, this is a pickup video. Last video that I uploaded today was a rant video, collab video with Script, Swag Search. Go check out his channel. Subscribe to him. That's my dude. We're going to be doing a lot of collab videos. It's going to be crazy. So be on the lookout for that. Support me and him, man. We both from Chicago trying to do our thing. Just some older guys in the YouTube game know about the Vince's life and to continue on bringing it to you. We're going to start over here on this side. Now, this was a jean jacket that I had copped, and um, I basically cut out the sleeves, as you can see, you know, got on my Iceman and Professor mode, but, um, you know, this one was real dope, man, I really like this jean jacket, you know, as you can see, it has, like, this little design here, it's kind of like a, you know, acid wash type of design, real dope, you know, and um, has the same thing around the collar, real sick, in my opinion, it's made from Arizona, you know, XL, you know what I mean? Real dope though. Plain. You know? So that's that. Next we have. Now this wasn't this originally wasn't a Chicago Bulls vest. So don't think it's a Chicago Bulls vest. This was a black jean jacket that I had copped at the thrift. I cut out the sleeves as you can see. Um the brand, I don't really give a heck what it is, but it's from Premier International. It's a size large. It's real nice, you know what I mean? I haven't cleaned the jacket yet because I've been customizing it first and um I sold this patch then I sold this patch in here and basically I wanna wash it because I wanna see if my sewing skills are you know, if they progress and they're good where the stitching won't fall off if it gets washed because you know when you wet the fabric of the thread, you know, it kinda loosens up a little bit. So, you know, this is basically gonna get put to the test. But um it was coming out real dope, man. It's all black put in the you know I put the Bulls patch right here in the pocket with the Bulls right here and um I have the Chicago letters it's gonna go up here which I'm gonna put so you know but just you know, I'm playing real dope though next y'all probably already know what this is by looking at the color it is I mean this thing is just bananas so without further ado we're gonna get into it Bam, Charlotte Hornets hoodie. I mean, look at this hoodie, man. This thing is dope. Now, while we in the subject of this hoodie right here. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there that are small guys. And you always complaining about people in their pickups. They don't pick up small stuff for you small guys. Well, here it goes, man. This will fit a, a, a small adult. You know what I mean? If you're an adult and you wear a size medium or small, this will probably fit you. You know, because it's a smaller hoodie. If it was big, I would have kept this thing because this thing is just too fresh. You got the Charlotte Hornets right there. It's made from Apex. You got that on the, you know, the locks right here. Purple in the inside of the, you know, inside of the hoodie. You got the teal on the outside, the white, purple, and then the teal again right there. Real dope, man. That's a real dope hoodie. It's made, like I said, by Apex. It says size medium, but it looks like a small, you know. Dropping stuff over here, but yeah, real dope, man. And got eight packs on the shoulder right there, on the sleeve. I mean, and that's about it, man. So if anybody's interested in that, let me know. If not, I'm just gonna chop it up and take out the logo and probably put it on something else. So hit me up with offers. Next, we're gonna get into the beanies. Got about three of these beanies that I found. First. Miami Hurricanes. Now, I haven't cleaned this beanie up, so it's a little bit yellow on the logo, as you can see. But still a dope vintage, you know, Miami Hurricanes beanie. If you guys remember in Scripps pickup, he had one just like this, similar, but except it was a two-tone colorway. But the same logo and everything. Real dope. And next we got this New Jersey Devils vintage real dope i mean have you ever seen the new jersey devil logo like that with the new jersey you know new jersey devil logo and then with the d in the background like i had never seen nothing like that but i thought that was real dope that's why i grabbed it black and red two-tone you know real sick next dope spartans beanie look at that that beanie is sick 
tell me that beanie is not. Next, we're gonna get into these. These are just plain random. Well, the other two are not plain, but this one's a plain hat. And I'll get into the story of this one a little bit later. But um, all plain, just you know, white and blue, basically for customization. This one's real dope, man. It's plain, you know, Mosin Sky. I don't really know what that is, but um, I thought the logo looked real fresh on there. You know, it's a real good looking hat. Got the green on the brim, you know, vintage brim, you know, real nice. Real nice hat, man, all around, in my opinion. Um, the brand, of course, it ain't going to be nothing special since they ain't the team. It doesn't even have a brand. All it says is ROC in the bottom. Yeah, it's real dope, though, man. I thought it was a fresh looking hat, just as well as this one, Quaker State. You know, for all you oil head, oil heads out there, <laughs> black and green, black snap, another fresh, you know, looking hat, nothing to competition. No, it's not logo seven. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Next, we get into these. These are like kind of like the the most beat up out of the group. Um, Baltimore Orioles. This is an adult one. I had a youth one like this. I had cut it up and took out the logo and I found the dot one now. So that was pretty dope. Like I said, I haven't got restored yet. So, you know, made from Twin Enterprise. That needs to get restored. This one really needs to get restored. This thing is like beat up, as you can see. Look at this dusty, real wrinkly, like real bad. But I grabbed it anyways, you know, because I'm from Chicago. And, you know, I was a fan of Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa stitched an autograph and it's a sports specialty hat. Yeah, so that's another reason why I grabbed it. Green on the brim. Shout out to David. Sports specialty. You know, pretty decent. Pretty decent. Next, we're going to get in to the heat. To the heat. All right, we're going to start with this one. I do not know what this is, but I thought it was just fresh looking. The material is real soft, real nice. It says Myers 90th anniversary. You know, red and blue, real dope. I thought it was a real fresh looking hat, so I grabbed it. Says Associated Premier Corporation, Cincinnati, Ohio, one size fit all. Real dope looking hat. Atlanta Braves, navy and red. Made from, uh, hold on, too bright there. Logo Athletic. Genuine merchandise. Next, we got this 96 Chicago Bulls champion hat and logo athletic a little bit of ripping going on the basketball right there because it's like a real basketball material but you know this for collection purposes 96 next we got a mickey mouse just like my other mickey mouse one real dope to add to the mickey mouse collection similar to the professors with the t1 purple real dope this cap right here this cap right here Y'all probably already know the story behind this cat right here. And the reason why I say that is because of the professor. He done gave it up. <laughs> Good video. I told him he could mention it. We both found these similar, you know, prints of hats. But I told him not to mention the team. But he still mentioned it. I wanted to keep it a little surprise for you guys. But you know how that go. So, without further ado, you guys know the story behind this. We both found the similar hats the same day you know of this print and um this is my first hat of this print and i hate green bay man i'm not a green bay fan you know i'm a, I'm a bears fan and these are rivals so y'all already know what it is man if you guys really interested in this hat make a good offer or a good trade offer and we can make it happen the hat's not restored but the hat is in brand new condition it's just been smashed up because you know where it was at in the thrift it was just under a whole bunch of rebel somebody tried to stash this from me but i found it and, um, you know, real dope, man. Like I said, the hat's in brand new condition, man. Like, I done checked out every inch of this hat, and there's, like, no stains and no rips, nothing like that. Um, starter, you know, pro line with it. Gray on the brim. I mean, look at this hat, man. This hat is in good condition. Pro line starter. Real dope. You know, a big old Green Bay logo in the front. So, yeah, that's that one. Last heat of the day. Is the Chicago Bulls, man. Y'all already know what to do. This hat is just too fresh and too dumb. Yeah, man, it got the NBA logo on the side. As you guys can see, it's, um, you know, it's like a, has one little section on the side. It's black, that's it. And a black brim, green under. 
was the sickest part about this hat is, of course, it has that script in the back of Bulls. I thought it was real fresh, man. This hat looks real dope when you got it on backwards. It says Youngin on the on the um, on the snap. It's made from Sports Specialty. Official license on the other side. Real dope hat, though, man. Real dope. Really happy about that one. Now, 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 it's time for the debate. Man, this is, I don't even know if I should show you guys this, man. You guys are getting a sneak peek right now on some heat, man, some heat. Now, this is a new invention that I invented. This is not nobody else's idea or nothing like that. I'm making a series of these hats. I'm going to make five of them for my first collection. And, yes, they're all for sale. But just know that there's going to be five of them for my first collection. I'm in the process of getting it copywritten and everything, my ideas. Now, listen to me clearly. If you guys like this video more than 100 times, then I will make a tutorial on how to do these hats. But listen clearly, because if I make this tutorial on how to do these hats, it's for your purpose of making it for yourself, for your personal use, not for you to make it and try to sell it. Because like I said, I'm going to copyright this idea. So if I see anybody out there on YouTube taking my, my idea of this hat and trying to sell it out there, believe it or not, but I will sue you. I will find out your information and I will sue you. Try me if you think I'm joking. This is money right here, man. I don't play around when it comes to money. So without further ado... We gonna get into, we gonna get into this. Just, just hold on to your seats. That's all I can say. Now, for all you guys that know, I customized this hat from scratch. This hat was completely plain. It didn't even have no Blue Jays logo or nothing like that. That's hand stitched in there. I added this brim to it with the snake skin that you guys see me cop in my other pickup videos. Real dope. This hat just came off fresh. Put it on a button too, as you can see and um gray under you know real dope and basically what I want to tell you guys is my invention of what I did here is basically I call it the slide back now it looks kind of like a strap back but it's not a strap back this is a slide back there's nothing that's that's holding it in there sturdy you know you can slide it back slide it in yeah I know that's what she said but um yeah you know what I mean it's called the slide back I think this is real fresh real dope this hat will fit from a big size head to a small size head so this is like a basically a hat that will fit any size head man real talk I don't have big head guys try this hat on and fit them real nice and I have small head guys me I don't have a real big head and this hat fits me real nice and it doesn't loosen up on you it feels very comfortable it's real dope man as you can see real fresh this is my logo SBS snapback streets I put the S backwards you know you know my little my little logo I think it looks real fresh tell me what you guys think about that like I said these hats are for sale this hat is for sale or trade but it has to be something good these these hats took hours of time to make man you know what I mean and, and they're just real fresh now this one you might have seen in my earlier video with um with script for all you guys that probably didn't really pay too much attention, but it was a sneak peek in that video of me having this hat on. But this hat just came out too sick, too dope. Checker print in the bottom, black on top. I stitched in that um, Chicago Woods logo right there. This was a plain gray hat from, from Youngin. Got the, you know, checker print on the button. And yes, it's a slide back too. Now this one, I had customized myself more than the other one because I had to stitch these leather pieces together and stitch this you know and everything but this came out real dope man and um basically what i want opinion on you guys is um i wanted to add this logo to it and you guys tell me what you think if i should or should not but um yeah man that's that those are my slide backs that's what i call them stay in tune for more videos subscribe comment like dislike do what you do peace out